good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to each one of you. We greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord, and we thank him for allowing us to be with you on this 17th day of March morning. We march on in the victories that our Lord has already secured for us. And we come to this moment of devotion, getting this day started from a position of empowerment. He has given us distinct uh, and desired uh, positioning. He has watched over us all night. And early this morning, he stopped by with his finger of divine love, touched us, and uh, allowed our golden moments to hitch up to the chariot of time and roll on just a little while longer. It's good to be able to thank him for such a privilege. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power. Thine is the glory mm, forever and ever. Thank you for your touch for health and healing, allowing our golden moments to hitch up to the chariot of time and roll on just a little while longer from morning toward noonday, toward early evening, Toward that point when the sun that has been pitched in the position of authority so high beyond that which could demoralize its reach of revival, but uh, who has revived us from the pitched point where God has placed it and placed him to revive and keep us all day long. It's good to be here in the covering of God. On this 17th day, we are drawn by uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 8, 8, 8, that references new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. And there at verse 58, here's what it says. Jesus said to them, truly, truly, <laughs> I say to you before Abraham was born, I am. So we feature our Lord's I amness today. And while it's raining, where this broadcast originates from on the east coast of the Atlantic Ocean, in this city of Chesapeake, Virginia, His I amness is the distinct covering and undergirding 
for our worship at this hour and we will extend worship as we celebrate the Lord's Supper on this 17th day in the middle in the middle of this month and we celebrate the power of our Lord and his I amness being in the middle, being in the middle of all which concerns and um, leads us. He clearly revealed himself and any who would receive him as the long expected one God himself had promised it became one of the greatest expectations being fulfilled that one could ever expect and since he is I am he always will be who and what he is within himself but what we need him to be is I amness defines all questions relative to as I am. What good is that for us? Is that an all encompassing presence of the eternal right in our time set it place, point of need, or is that emphasis just out of a flaunt and an apparent uh, notification that um, I am means that he can be what we need, how we need it, undergirding us until the point of need it at, is at its height and the, and the release over that need is apparent. He is totally complete, altogether awesome, and nothing escapes his I amness. Jesus said to them truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, my I amness was the personification of what my daddy wanted you to know. I am. Oh, how many positional definitions can such a statement of identity allow us to embrace? I am. What, 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 what clarity such a self-definition can provide for those who don't know where they woke up this morning, how they woke up this morning, how long this wake up call is going to prevail, where I shall go as a result of him being I am, what will I be able to encounter and go through so that I can be on the other side of the point well, I've arrived because I am woke me up this morning. I am enabled me to perform in walking and talking and engaging. I am allowed me to have person and poise and perspective from his point of view so that I will not uh, be allowed to pale into non-existence because existence has lifted me to a point of life and living like none other. 
Jesus is our I am Mother Neil and we 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 celebrate the power of his I amness the awesome thought of Jesus and his I amness should be uh, the pulsating emphasis in our family how much have you allowed him to be him in every aspect of your family? Him I love. Him has engaged us. Him is phenomenal. Him is music to our person. Him is the sonnet and our poise for the poise, the prose, and the promises of life and of living. I am is the pride that he has when we do well. I am is the private counseling session he provides when we were faced with the problem and we did not handle it according to I am's perspective. When we fell, I am picked us up. When we went in another direction, I am came and found us and said, you're not finished yet. When, 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 when we could not get that thought to provide the strength it was intended to provide the second wind of I am, <laughs> which is actually the divinity of I am reaching us at our point of weakness and enabling us to respond with a salvific announcement. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> I'm not, I am not finished yet. And when shall finish come? Even when he, in this pre-prospering period of looking at the agony of salvation, but the advancement of it because God was at work in Christ getting us to this point of revelation. If dad's maleness patterned after his I amness, is mom's femaleness patterned after the principles of his I amness, if so, that son and daughter have role models of definite stability. And when we allow his I amness to be released and allowed to live among us, knowledge of his I amness gives us a paragraph, no, a sentence, a paragraph a monogram, a whole essay, <laughs> a whole chapter, a whole book of revelation that can just be allowed to perfect the other us that makes us extensions of his I amness. When we allow his I amness to be released and allowed to live among us, knowledge of his constant consistency will continually influence us. It's going to be a great day today. This rain, in a sense, that is falling where, where I'm talking to you from is, is refreshing in an early morning dimension. 
before we can step out into a polluted world. God says, let me take this to the laundry room. <laughs> let me give you pure me. Let me give you untainted me. Let me, let me provide for you as only my person will allow, can allow, can provide you to be more like me. I, I go now to that table where his disciples were about to gainfully be ministered to so that in the conversations they've had with others who did not salute him as they did. But I want you to salute opportunity to introduce the one, hopefully, that others will salute. It's a new revelation of his I amness. Ah, God. Thank you, Lord. It's such an empowering definition is before us to fulfill as we walk the walk and talk the talk. In the face of betrayal, in the face of even dying, we roll back this cover from that which exposes his I amness in the fullness of his salvific announcement. Look out. <laughs> Here I come again. <laughs> he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Hey, hey, hey. The Lord is blessing me right now. Yes. I chew this blessing into a digestive form. Lesser than it would have been if I just let it slide down my throat. But I bit into it. I broke it up so that my digestive system could handle it just a little bit better. I moistened it with that in which the Lord had given me moistening strength. And as I licked my lips, I released part of saliva that goes into breaking up that which came as a rounded figure representing the body the life giving sacrifice of our Lord bodily 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 that gave us a hope of structure that we were entering into through his example as I am. Ah, God, we bless you now. Not only that, but when we roll, roll back the cover that protects that which represents his blood. We throw our head back and place the opening of this packet to our mouths and receive, receive this which has been placed, that this receptacle could be hollowed by his gift of I amness. In bread and in cup. And now in 
every vein and every artery of these physical frames of ours, from the crowns of our heads to the very sole of our feet, there is a refinement and a redefinition of that in which flows now. He redefines us. I'm not just Ronnie Joyner, but I'm Ronnie Joyner, servant of the Lord. So I come to this 17th day knowing that another day has been given from the Lord of days, from the day star. <laughs> He's lighting the way through this day that allows us to join now with the, the saints of old. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I bless families today. You know, God must surely have loved families because he put all of us in one. And we have ministry to provide for our families, from husbands to wives, from husbands and wives to sons and daughters. And that igniting extension of his I amness provides a formal performance. Those of us who represent God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and shall represent throughout this day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, you ought to do too. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. God bless my brother. God bless my sister. God bless your family. Be engaged in the power of his I amness. Oh, God. <laughs> and I believe it's going to be an exciting day of life and performing through him. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless. Have a great day.